Okay, so if you got here from Kickstarter, as I mentioned in my Kickstarter post, I'm not going to do the actual box opening from the brown box that came in the mail because nothing is really damaged. Um, I did want to show the components quality because obviously that's what everybody cares about, right? So my box is undamaged. It wasn't like warped or anything when it came. It was perfectly flat in the in the shrink wrap. I have a couple marks on the box. Um, I buy a lot of stuff through the mail, so I mean, it's to be expected. It's going to happen. I'm not concerned about it. I'm one-handed. You'll have to forgive me. Okay. So, three manuals. Uh, play instructions for Antoine and Eriku. My Takedo board is nice and flat. It's not warped or anything. There was some gunk on it that just scraped off with my fingernail. I do have some little spots there, but I, uh, I might try and clean those off with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I'm not, I'm not really too concerned about that because it's going to get used. Um, I mean, I'm the type of collector who deboxes things and uses them and gets them messy and other collectors hate me. So, the back of it, it's not, it's not like rubbery. I know, I remember someone mentioning that it was like rubberized. It's, it's stipled though, you can see that. So it is grippy, which is, is nice. Uh, it doesn't really, I mean, I don't know if that really helps much. <clears throat> so miniatures. Let me get... I was able to get this to focus last night. Maybe if I get my fingers out of there, it'll focus on her. There we go. This one I absolutely love the detail on. Not because she's any more detailed paint job wise than the others, but because she actually has a glossy finish on the dumplings in her barrel there, which they're wet. So I appreciate that. There we go. Now when he came, his little, uh, this bit was kind of in front of his face. You can see it's not now because these are pliable. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is PVC. 
and it's not going to snap, but it is flexible. I don't see any flashing on them, so that's good. Um, before they were assembled, they were clearly cleaned off pretty well. They do have mold lines, pretty prominent ones on some of them. But they're so small, I mean, I don't feel like it matters. Some of them have moderate gaps around where they're connected. You can kind of see where his neck meets his robe it's like that but it's not bad on most of them there are well there's one in particular where mine is misglued which we'll get to and Mitsumi I think in every picture I have seen of him has had a massive gap around the piece uh, speaking of his chest where it connects, which I am pretty positive that that is an issue with the actual way the bits are molded. I don't think if I were to ask for a replacement of him, I would get anything different. Um, it, it doesn't look as bad painted as it does on the unpainted ones that I've seen, but it's, I mean, it's pretty bad. You can, on his back, you can see the, the washing effect, and there's, there's a bunch where you can't see the detail at all. The ones where you can, it is pretty cool. It's not overdone, which is nice. So that's, you can see on the back of her little friend there, there's a little tiny spot where somebody missed with a brush. But that is looking at them in daylight after I've gotten them. The only place I can see where I have missed strokes with a brush. Um, for the most part, all of mine have nice, clean stamps. They're not bleeding together. There's no little chunks missing from them. They're not warped from being stamped on. And all of the pre-painting, the machine pre-painting, looks like it's within the lines of the mold. This one kind of has the little crazy eyes effect going on, but I don't have kids. If I did, I would probably be crazy too. This one, I'm really, really hoping that the camera picks up the detail. Oop because the wood grain, this is probably the best example of the, the washing because the wood grain is, it's a lot nicer looking than some of the pictures that we got before.
Oh, she's got a little dot on her hair, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. Especially not after seeing Nate's pictures. We're about halfway done with the minis now. And I tried to get the camera to focus on that fan last night and could not do it. I really want it to. So I'm going to try for a moment because the stamping on the fan is perfect. There's no bleeding, there's no gaps or anything like that and that that fan's rippled. That's that would be a difficult piece to get it to be nice looking on and it is nice and neat. Okay, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it there. She is one of my two favorites because I think she's adorable. Some of them, they rock when you set them down, which they go, they go in those little bases, so I'm not concerned about them not standing flat when they're not in the base. This is my other favorite. I guess, I guess I just like the grumpy little old people. They're cute. Now he has this little spot, which that that almost looks like intentional to me, like it's supposed to be some sort of lighting on the top of his, because that's paint. That's not like where something rubbed it. I don't know how I feel about the paint there, but it, it looks intentional to me.
I've seen people post um, that they're happy with theirs, that this is a better paint job than they could do. And for me, I'm a fairly good painter. Uh, this is not a better job than I could do myself, but I am also dreadfully lazy. And that is why I pledged for painted instead of unpainted, because I could go into this with all of the good intentions of making my set look really neat and painting it and having them all be perfectly accurate to their portraits, but I would get one done and then not touch the rest forever, and then Takedo would never hit the table because I have one painted mini and a bunch of unpainted minis. And really the whole point is to enjoy playing the game. And the reason why I feel like I got my money's worth, even though this is not the paint job I was expecting when I pledged, it is what I was expecting once I knew what their process was going to be for, you can see another gap around his arm, once I knew what their process for manufacturing them was going to be. And I absolutely feel that these will improve my experience playing the game over just having the basic set with the stupid little wooden, wooden meebles. All right. This is the one that I am... I think I'm probably asking for a replacement for this one. Uh, Sasayaku. You can see this I thought was when I did my box opening last night. Um, it was just a gap. But you can see it's pretty clearly misaligned when it was glued on. And it looks wonky in the front. I have... I have an issue with this one in particular because that's her art and that's the mini and she doesn't she's supposed to be a geisha clearly she doesn't have the white face paint I don't know what's going on with this up here but I know this is supposed to be her because of the tiger on the kimono and if you look, there's the tiger on the kimono, which, can I get that to focus better? Because looking on the camera, that looks to me like it's bleeding, but it's not. The detail is just very, very small. If you look at it, hopefully, hopefully the pictures on Board Game Geek came out clear, more clear of those, because it, it's not bleeding which is impressive to me. All right. So for the insert, I mean, there's, I see pretty significant gaps. I know some people have had a difficult time getting sleeve cards to fit in here. Uh, you've got, you've got quite a bit of space and, uh, I think you just, it's just a matter of finding which brand sleeves will work best. And because everybody wants to see it, there is our three card with the monkeys in the hot springs. And my set did come with the completion card. And I did check. I looked in the manual. I didn't think that they would actually fix it. Um, I, When I did my box opening video, I expressed doubt I wasn't even going to bother checking. But then I did. And look at that. There's our monkeys. There's even a spot later. Monkeys again. So... I am, I'm happy with my purchase.
I mean, the, I don't think most people care about this part, but the bag is nicely printed. There's no bleeding or anything there. The fabric, it's, I mean, it's a high, high quality piece of cotton. These are really neat. They're nice and thick. They feel like coins. I might steal them for other games if Takayo doesn't end up hitting the table as much as I hope. Here's your little furushikis. One more. And I did show you this is really hard to do watching the camera. I should probably not do that. Ooh. So I don't know what the gunk is on that little furushiki, but it, I didn't notice that last night. I'll try and clean it off later. They don't... They're not the easiest thing in the world to stack. Even if your hands are not unsteady like mine, I imagine that would be difficult. And Not that you're going to have all five people on the same spot at the same time, but they will fall over if you bump the table. <clears throat> Here are the little... The little caps for the bottom to show your color. These are like an ABS plastic. They're not the same material. And you just push the push the mini on top and that's on there. It's not going to come off. It's not difficult to remove. Like I said, I'm I'm satisfied with my copy. If I had gotten miniatures that were painted like the pictures that Nate posted on Kickstarter, I would probably be unhappy. But I didn't, so I'm not. If you guys decide you want to see the box opening, I will maybe attempt to edit it and upload it. But that's basically it. Hope this was useful for you guys. Thanks for watching.